With an estimated net worth of $700 million, Paul David Hewson, better known as Bono, has cemented his status as one of the wealthiest musicians in the world. While most recognize him as the legendary frontman of the rock band U2, Bono has also established himself a businessman through his private equity firm Elevation Partners. This profitable venture shows Bono's instincts and has contributed handsomely to his fortune over the years. Amidst all his fame and success, Bono remains an unbashed family man at heart. The rock icon considers Dublin, Ireland his true home and continues to maintain deep roots there. Bono's sprawling manor home Temple Hill is situated in the exclusive seaside suburb of Dalky in Dublin. While his mansion's exclusivity is maintained by an air of mystery about what it looks like inside and out, the 6,000 square foot home was originally bought by Bono in the 1980s and it's undergone extensive renovations over the years. Located on a hill, it overlooks the scenic Killiney Bay and offers views of Dalkey's medieval church and Mortello Tower. Nestled in a peaceful area filled with bird songs and the sounds of the sea crashing off the rocks below, this home provides a tranquil setting for Bono and his family. An additional 2,500 square foot adjacent home was purchased later and connected via a corridor. Surrounded by large gates, the mansion has become a tourist destination. Situated among other posh celebrity homes in this neighborhood. With its expansive size, renovated manor style, and idyllic seaside location, Temple Hill serves as both a luxurious and a quiet retreat for one of Ireland's most famous musicians. Beyond those security cameras and gates, Bono prefers to keep his home pretty low key. In fact, the rocks are personally landscaped the property's edges with trees and vines to shield the home from prying eyes. Still, persistent fans gather hoping to catch a glimpse of the iconic musician on his rare days off. Beyond his beloved Dublin, Bono also owns a lavish vacation home along the glittering French Riviera. Nestled between Nice and Monaco, Bono's stunning beachfront villa provides easy access to some of the Riviera's most famous attractions. After purchasing the property for $4 million, Bono invested an estimated $16 million towards extensive renovations. The resulting four-story mansion spans over 20,000 square feet, providing ample space to host celebrity friends and business tycoons. Guests enter through regal iron gates into a lush courtyard filled with palm trees and colorful blossoms. Inside, Bono embraces a vivid art deco aesthetic with sleek painted murals and bold geometric design. Each of the 20 plus rooms has been meticulously styled from the state of the art kitchen to the lavish master suite. Floor to ceiling windows flood the interiors with natural lights and show off panoramic coastal views. The villa's highlight lies outside, a sprawling seaside terrace perfect for sunset cocktails and alfresco dining. During the day, guests can take a private walk down to the beach or lounge poolside beneath beach umbrellas. Every aspect of the villa indulges the senses, from the luxury linens to the pleasant floral aromas that fill the air. In addition to his extravagant homes, Bono also enjoys cruising the seas aboard his super yacht Cyan, purchased in 2008. This 48.7 meter vessel can sleep up to 12 guests in the ultimate comfort and style. Stepping on board, visitors are dazzled by wood finishes and elegant living spaces worthy of a five-star hotel. The yacht's Six staterooms each have ensuite bathrooms, satellite TV, and luxurious bedding to ensure maximum relaxation. Cyan also has a ton of plush sofas and a baby grand piano perfect for evening concerts. For fitness enthusiasts, Cyan offers a fully equipped gym with panoramic views of the water. The yacht also boasts plenty of toys like jet skis, kayaks, and water skis for aquatic adventures. Back on land, Bono prefers cruising along coastal roads in his sleek Tesla Model S electric car. As an environmental activist, Bono takes pride in Tesla's innovative, sustainable technology. Inside his car, you can enjoy superior comfort and high-tech amenities like entertainment displays and advanced noise engineering. For road trips, this extra spacious interior stays whisper quiet while providing room to sprawl out. Bono also owns a Maserati Quattro Ports, 
a Volkswagen Tiguan, to name a few, as well as a Ducati 916, which was auctioned off for a charity. Overall, Bono's personal vehicles capture his blend of style, performance, and innovation. He invests in quality craftsmanship, whether it's a super yacht or purchasing a luxury sedan. Bono's appreciation for finely engineered machines aligns with his artistic passion and forward-thinking principles. Amidst all the wealth, Bono continues using his platform to raise awareness and make an impact. In 2005, he was named as Time Person of the Year and made a commander of the French Order of Arts and Letters. The singer was listed in the Forbes Generous Celebrity List for helping Deaf AIDS Africa on their cause of eradicating and stopping the spread of the fatal disease in Africa, as he has always advocated for canceling the third world debt. Bono has contributed to Hurricane Katrina Relief, Wildlife Conservation Society, Not On Our Watch, and many other charities. Moreover, he has made a personal donation of $50,000 to One in Four Ireland, an organization fighting against sexual abuse. Bono's integrity explains why fans remain devoted after decades of stardom. For a kid from small town Ireland, Bono has certainly come a long way. That's going to wrap up our Bono house tour, but before we go, answer this question for me. How can those with significant wealth strike a balance between enjoying their success and making a meaningful difference in the world? Let me know down in the comments and don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram to chat. I'm Kara the Vampire Slayer and I'll see you all in another video. Bye!